Okay, welcome back to the third episode of Frontier SMP. Um, I just got some powdered snow. We can freeze in it now. Then we can freeze someone later on. But I think that this episode is going to be a productive one. Um, I'm going to work on villagers, hopefully, um, once Ohm delivers them. And I'm hopefully going to work on the interior of the castle. Okay, so... I'm going to keep working on the interior. I have gates on the castle um, by the door. I think that's a nice touch. I'm currently working on getting more red carpet. I have the red sheep uh, uh, in the back. Um, trying to make this throne room nice. Um, and then I also need to do more interior of my bedroom. And my chest room where I store my stuff. Um, but... Yeah, just gonna keep working on that. And in these corners, there's gonna be holes um, for a project in the future um, that you guys will probably get to know about later in this episode or the next episode. Um, but this powdered snow bucket, I'm gonna see. Um, I think we can do some funny things with this. Maybe we can, um, if someone's AFK, maybe we can freeze them. And then keep freezing them, but just not kill them until they come back. Um, depends if we find anyone this episode to freeze. Um, but that could be interesting. It's villager time. Okay, so I'm working on these villagers. Um, I need these two nitwits to wake up because it's daytime and no one else is asleep and I need them to read. But every time I wake them up like that, they just go back to bed. Also, I've noticed that we have a baby cat in our villager area, which is good. Um, but I'm also starting to shear these sheep more frequently. Um, just because I'm waiting to, for these nitwits to wake up um, so much. Um, but I'm trying to work on the interior of the castle a little bit as well. While I'm working on the villagers so I need to put some more red carpet in um but you can see I have the gate on the front um the carpet's coming along and it's almost done and now it is done um the two holes in the uh back those are for something else later but for now I'm mostly working on the villagers now that the carpet's done, because I just, yeah, here we go. I just need them to breed more, and now that they're breeding, I have another villager. I'm going to keep expanding this um, area with more beds, and keep giving them more potatoes, um, so that they breed. Okay, so I've been working on the beds more. Um, so I've expanded it all the way to here. Um, I've got tons of red and white beds. Um, quite a few villagers. Now that they're starting to grow up, I'm thinking that I'm gonna start wanting to actually give them professions now. Um, because I can do that. And I just need certain things for certain different work tables. So I want... Um, some new armor, because some of mine broke. I've been mining a lot, so that, um, I can sell stuff to the villagers. Um, so I'm gonna build a few workstations, put them in, and see what I can do. Okay, so I've crafted a few workstations. Um, I have some fletching tables, some smokers, and a few barrels. Um, these are some easy ones to get, and... Fletching tables are not the easiest, but um, they're very useful because they have fletchers, and fletchers trade sticks for emeralds, and that's a very good trade. Um, so I'm going to do a pattern here until I run out of certain ones, which I think I am already. But I can go to the other side if I need, um, but I need these villagers to move because I want to finish the first side before I start the next side. Whatever, I guess I can just go to this side because it's easier and then I can just place them down and in the future I might need to change some of them but 
it's fun. Um, I feel like these are some pretty good workstations, especially the Fletchers. Um, and I can continue to get more villagers just by harvesting these potatoes and then giving them them because I think I still have some extra beds that I haven't filled up yet. And I can just keep breeding them. Okay, so I've been working on the interior of the castle a bit, as you can see. So I have this. Um, um, so this is my bedroom. I need to decorate it a lot more. This is just a mine um, to where I get deep slate. Uh, one tower. Um, just a hallway to another tower. Um, my bed's over there. Um, cobblestone on the bottom and then spruce on the top. I kind of like that combination for a castle. Here's this other room. Um, I have another tower here. I think I already showed that one. But here are all my chests. I haven't moved things into here yet, but I have a crafting table on the floor. Another tower here. Oh, okay, so there's a creeper. You can go onto there. That's just to the top of the castle without going onto a tower. But I don't want to get blown up by a creeper. So maybe I can use the tower to shoot the creeper. Um, but you can go onto the middle of the castle, um, so you don't have to be on a, yeah, we should light this up before this creeper tries to blow me up, but, um, you can use the ladder to come up to this area, you can walk around, defend the castle if you want. Then in the center, there's the carpet, and this is a really cool thing, I like it, um, it's my throne. Um, it's like a chair made out of all the valuable resources. It has diamond block, um, ancient debris. I want to change that to netherite block, but it's not that bad. It don't have that much netherite yet. So maybe far in the future, it's rimmed with redstone ore, and then the bottom has some lapis in it. Um, and then copper for the seat, because it's the only block of mineral that you can let it, um, make a slab out of. So I like this castle so far. This is um, the castle interior, but without the detail. Okay, so I think I'm going to prank Ethan. Um, what I want to do is just make a whole bunch of chickens um, inside of his house. So I'm just literally going to build a big cobblestone box where he's building. So then hopefully he finds this. Um, kind of similar to what we did with Cloudy but with chickens, not goats, because chickens are easier to get um, and move around. So I have like six stacks of eggs. Stacks of eggs are only 16, but it's still quite a few eggs. Um, hopefully we get some chickens. Wait, what? Four chickens just spawned from one egg. What? How did that happen? Okay, that's really funny. I didn't even know that could possibly happen. I thought the most you could get was one, but apparently you can get four. Um, that's interesting. Um, so I'm gonna keep going. Hopefully the chickens stay inside of the box this time so they don't have to... Okay, that's one more. One more. Hopefully I want as many, um, chickens as we can get, because the more they're are in here, the funnier it'll be. Um, ideally, there would be like hundreds of chickens in here, um, but I don't have that many eggs. These are most of the eggs that I have. The rest of them I'll use myself to get a chicken farm going. Maybe so that we can get eggs and prank people more in the future with stuff like this. But this is the most eggs that I can use for now. And so far we have a good amount of chickens. They're all babies, but by the time um, Ethan logs on, hopefully. Okay, so that's the last of my eggs. So now I'm going to cover up the top, um, break my staircase, and hopefully he records it. Um, I don't have a sign with me to tell him to record it, so I'm sure it's fine. He'll probably record. Um, if he doesn't, then that would be very sad, but. Hopefully he does, um, and that's the end of this prank. Okay, so I just died in the nether in one of these caves, uh, in this cave system. So 
I was trying to get XP by mining all the quartz, and ha, there was quartz right here, and I couldn't find any, so I went down like a tunnel really far, and then I found some, and then when I mined it, lava poured out. So now, and I died, so now I'm looking for all of my stuff. Um, hopefully it didn't burn. I think I got away from the lava enough that it didn't burn. So hopefully my stuff is still there, but I'm really frustrated because I was at level 29. It was the last vein of quartz that I needed to mine, and it had lava behind it. If I had mined any one of these other veins of quartz that I'm literally finding now, I would have probably come home and enchanted at level 30. But I didn't. And that was my second death. One time I fell. I think I'm just gonna die at this point. Um, this isn't a very helpful cave and I don't know how to get back. So I'll just respawn. Uh, go back. Through my portal. Oh, it's not loading. Okay. There we go. Go back through my portal and then keep trying. Hopefully I find my stuff before it despawns. That would be really frustrating if I lost all of my stuff and all of my XP, but I'll show you guys if I find my stuff. Okay, so this cave looks a little bit promising. Like, um, this drop is like the one that, yeah, so there was a little cave here. I didn't go that way. Um, yes, my stuff. Okay, so this is all my stuff. And that lava is the lava that poured out when I tried to mine the quartz. The, it's so annoying because if I had blocks in my hopper, which I didn't, I would have survived it and gotten all of the 30 levels left probably after that one vein of quartz and then had the ability to enchant but instead I didn't have blocks so now I have to get all 30 levels again I mean I have th 7 levels but that's nothing because the first 7 levels are quite easy to get um, at least I got, I got all of my stuff back all of my armor Weapons, tools, my diamond pickaxe is the most valuable thing, probably. Um, but I got everything back, it looks like, so that's helpful. But now I'm going to have to find another way to get XP, because all the quartz in these caves, or most of it at least, you saw a little bit in the last clip, but most of the quartz is mined. Um, oh my gosh. If I had just come up this way, instead of that way, and mined this quartz instead of that quartz, I would have survived. That's annoying. So there's like a million things that could have gone better, but everything went wrong at the same time, and I died. And now I have nine levels. So now I have to get all of my levels back somehow. I'm probably going to do villager trading or something safer. Maybe a little bit more quartz mining. But... I'll have to figure that out later. I'm done with the nether for now. Okay, that's the end of episode 3, and goodbye!